case of the gels. So it's a little bit of a rainy day today and I have like funny lighting going on, but it's either this or you won't be able to see me at all. So let's see how this works. So today I actually wanted to talk about something a little bit different. I wanted to talk to you about my beloved Jenny. This is the Ultimate Direction women specific hydration vest called the Ultra Vesta. And I'm sure you've probably seen it before running down the trail in front of you. Part of the Jenny Durek collection. I love this so much. This is my second Jenny. The improvements are really great, but what I wanna do is show you how I pack up Jenny and all of the ways that she is incredibly useful. Let's begin just by talking about the placement of everything and how genius this little device is. So first of all, if we look at the back section here, um, you'll notice that you have these amazing bungee cords first on the back. And there's been a million and one times that I've tucked in um, a t-shirt or maybe a hat that I'm not using or anything like that, gloves even, and tied it to the outside of the, the, the pack. Now this year there's this new piece which is actually a pocket that goes behind the mesh but it's not in the compartment where the hydration bladder is and you can actually shove more things in there which is great. You have two uh, pockets here on the outside and so I will show you what I put in mine. First one is, oh yes, that would be tampons for those of us that need tampons, just because you, you never know. Um, in the back here, I usually keep cash and this special little guy, which I'm gonna tell you about. This is what I like to call a poop pack, and I'm going to explain what this is and what it does and how it will change your life momentarily. So, of course, you have the hydration bladder in the back. I do use an Ultimate Direction hydration bladder tucked back in here. Also life-changing, I know this is gonna sound really weird, but up until a certain point, I didn't realize that you are best served by putting the water in and making sure that there is no air in the pack before you place the top, you slide the seal back on the top. I missed this and was a water slosher. The sound of sloshing water was terrible. For many years, yeah, really, how I did not get this, I do not know. But that is why I am here to share this information with you. But I was at a race, it was like last summer, and uh, this guy said to me at the aid station, do you want me to burp your bottle? And I was like, what? Well, I don't, do I, I don't know, do I want you to do that? And then he explained, you know, oh yeah, yeah, you know, you take the air out so it doesn't make sloshing noises revolutionary. Uh, whoever you are out there on, on the Pioneer Spirit 50 Mile, you're a genius. Thank you. Now we have the front part of the pack. I'm going to show you what I put in the different pockets. In the top pocket here, I'm right-handed, okay, so uh, in the top pocket here on the right chest, I put all of the food items and things that I'm going to need quickly. So for me, that's going to mean uh, a whole bunch of ginger candy because those of us with celiac disease, chances are there's going to be some tummy trouble. Those go in. Plus also, here goes my gels. Uh, I usually use hammer gels, sometimes goo roctane, but typically I use hammer products. They seem to sit well with my stomach the best, and maybe even the Perpetuum solids. Since I use the bladder in the back, I do not use the soft flask water bottles in the front. Down here at the bottom, this pocket here is actually perfect for an iPhone 6 right here. Ooh, I voted. That helped. Anyway. I'm not talking about politics, I swear. I'm really not gonna talk about politics. So, you can see here that the iPhone fits perfectly right here in this pocket. On the left side, we have the identical kind of mesh pocket with the drawstring on the top. For this, I put in the things that I'm not gonna need as often, but I'm still potentially gonna need to get to during a run or a race. That means it's going to be electrolytes in a very high-tech dispensary device a lip balm with SPF of some kind, and Jilly's Little Helper, which is caffeine tablets only for overnight races or occasions where you have to get up at the crack of dawn and don't have time to adequately caffeinate. A little dab will do ya. At the bottom left here, again, this is solely because I'm, I'm right-handed and I'm gonna wanna grab here on the right first, goes the key fob of whatever vehicle I'm driving. So I just stick that in there and it's great and it fits perfectly well and I just clip clip and I'm ready to go. Like I said, I use the, since I use the hydration bladder all the time, I just tuck the hose up into the elastic band here on the side and I just 
use this whenever I need it and I never have a problem with it. The only time you might have an issue is when the temperature drops much below freezing. There is a strong possibility that this tube is going to freeze. So I've never had an occasion where the pack in the back has frozen, the bladder has frozen. I've never had an occasion where the entire bladder Neither has Tulip, I guess. I've never had an occasion where the entire bladder in the back has frozen, but I have had occasions where the tube has frozen when I'm out someplace cold for a long time. And the worst I've actually had to do in that case, if I really couldn't get water, is take off whatever jacket I'm wearing, put the whole pack underneath, put the jacket over, and my body heat would melt the tube, and then I'm able to drink water. Oh, the things we do in the Northeast. Okay, because I promised you I would tell you all about what this guy is, I am going to do a little tutorial on my best friend, the poop pack. So if you can see here, I'm gonna take and show you all of the materials that I use to create what I call a poop pack. A poop pack is something that I came up with as an idea because many times in the morning I would have to go to the bathroom and uh, obviously there's no bathroom facilities on the trail so this is something I came up with. It does several things. First of all, it keeps you clean. Second of all, it's pretty discreet. And third of all, and most importantly, it allows you to be environmentally friendly, which is to say you're able very easily to take out what you take in. So this is what I do. I take a couple pieces of aluminum foil, let's say, cut them in half. So this is just, you know, a regular sheet of aluminum foil and I just cut a piece in half. What I do personally is I like to wipe with baby wipes. This is completely personal and some people use paper towel and that's fine. I add two moistened baby wipes, so like the pre-moistened, you know, just like Huggies baby wipes. I add two of them together. And what I do is I have noticed over the time that I've been doing this that it's best to fold them separately because you might want to use them separately. And I put one in the middle there and put the other folded one on top, okay? And then all I do is create a little package, okay? And I make a nice flat package that will fit easily inside a snack size Ziploc bag. And then I go ahead and put that in the Ziploc bag. This goes in my pack. Now, why would you say the aluminum foil? The aluminum foil because, first of all, if I need to use the ladies room, which basically means squat by a tree, what I'm going to do is take this out, okay? I have this wrap, which is going to offer me the possibility of being a little bit discreet. So if I'm with friends or with people and I need to throw this out later or walk out of the woods with it, I don't have like a stained white baby wipe that now looks disgusting. So basically wipe, 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 whatever I need to do, I shove them back in here. I can crumple it up or whatever I need to do. Now, this is kind of gross, but I can contain the mess by putting it back into the Ziploc bag. I throw this in my pack, it's sanitary, I take it out with me, I have not left behind any traces of myself in the environment, well, maybe one trace, but that's okay, it's biodegradable. This part is not, this comes out with me and I throw it away in the trash and there you go, the poop pack. So now I hope that answered some questions about how to pack up a hydration bladder, especially one that's female specific. Jenny Jurek, I love you. Thank you so much for designing that pack because it is literally a life changer. I love it so much and I really like the color. I hope that you enjoyed this video today. Please like and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave questions or comments below. I am going to leave a link below to where you can go to the Ultimate Direction website and see this pack. I should have mentioned also that I'm not affiliated or sponsored by Ultimate Direction either. I just really love this pack and wanted to show you how I use it since people have asked me before. I hope that you had fun with this today. Thanks so much for watching.